5th September 1914 Face the danger thou saidst to me why dost thou wish to turn away thy gaze or flee far away from action flee from the battle into the deep contemplation of truth it is its integral manifestation which must be realized its victory over all the obstacles of blind ignorance and dark hostility look the danger straight in the face and it will vanish before the power o lord i understood the weakness of this most external nature which is always ready to surrender material things and escape as a compensation into a supreme intellectual and spiritual independence but thou expectest action from us and action does not allow such an attitude it is not enough to triumph in the inner worlds we must triumph right down to the most material worlds we must not flee from the difficulty or obstacle because we have the power to do so by taking refuge in the consciousness where there are no obstacles we must look the danger straight in the face with faith in thy omnipotence and thy omnipotence will triumph give me integrally the heart of the fighter o lord and thy victory is sure conquer at any price should be the present motto not because one is attached to the work and its results not because one needs such an action not because one is incapable of escaping from all contingencies but because thou hast commanded action from us but because the hour of thy triumph upon earth has come but because thou willest the integral victory and in an infinite love for the world let us fight 6th september 1914 higher ever higher let us never be satisfied with what is achieved let us not stop at any realization let us march always onwards ceaselessly energetically towards an ever completer manifestation an ever higher and more total consciousness yesterday's victory must be only a stepping stone to the victory of tomorrow and the power of the day gone by a weakness beside the effectivity to come o mother divine thy march is triumphal and uninterrupted he who unites with thee in integral love journeys unceasingly towards ever vaster horizons towards an ever completer realization leaping from peak to peak in the splendor of thy light to the conquest of the marvelous secrets of the unknown 
and their integral manifestation. O Divine Victor, all the earth sings thy praises and all forces will obey thee. For the Lord has said, the hour has come and all obstacles will be surmounted. 9th September 1914 The world is divided between two opposite forces struggling for supremacy and both are equally against thy law, O Lord. For thou dost not want either mortal stagnation or blind destruction. It is in a constant, progressive and luminous transformation that thou expressest thyself. And it is this we must establish upon earth if we want to manifest thy will. At times, our impatience would like to know immediately the means of this manifestation, but our impatience is futile and receives no answer. For the knowledge will come at the opportune moment, at the moment of action. Hence, it is with the thought at peace and with the realizing will calm and strong that we await the sign thou wilt give us. 10th September 1914 Thy love is like a rising tide invading the entire being and breaking upon all things. Lord, thy love will penetrate all hearts and kindle in them the divine flame which never goes out, the divine beauty which does not fade, and above every contrast and contradiction it will establish in all that unchanging bliss which is the supreme good. Thy light is like a rising tide, invading the entire being and breaking upon all things. Lord, thy light will penetrate all thoughts and create in them that sovereign clarity which does not waver the divine clear-sightedness which never errs and above every contrast and contradiction it will establish in all the splendor of thy knowledge which is the supreme wisdom. Thy force is like a rising tide invading the entire being and breaking upon all things. Lord, thy force will penetrate all life and create in it the effective strength which never fails, the divine power which is invincible and above every contrast and contradiction it will establish in all thy mastering energy, which is the supreme will. 13th September 1914 With fervor I hail thee, O Divine Mother, and in deep affection identify myself with thee. United with our Divine Mother, I turn, O Lord, to thee and bow to thee 
in mute adoration and in an ardent aspiration identify myself with thee. Then all becomes a marvellous silence. Being is absorbed in non-being. All is suspended at rest, motionless. How shall one express the inexpressible? September 14, 1914 there is no longer an I, no longer an individuality, no longer any personal limits. There is only the immense universe, our sublime mother, burning with an ardent fire of purification in honour of Thee, O Lord, Divine Master, Sovereign Will, so that this will may meet with no further obstacle in the way of its realization. A mighty canticle of fervent love and exultation arises to Thee, O Lord. All the earth in an inexpressible ecstasy unites with Thee. Let thy potent breath feed the brazier that it may become ever vaster and more formidable, that all darkness and blind resistance may be absorbed, set ablaze, transfigured into light, in the marvellous purifying flame. O oh, the peace-giving splendor of thy purification. September 16, 1914 Hearken to the voice that rises. Hearken to the chant that is lifted up to hail thy divine dawn. Let the supreme law be fulfilled. Whether it be existence eternal, universal or reabsorption into non-being matters little. Must one choose between the two? I cannot. In my consciousness there is no longer any preference. Only one will persists thine O ineffable and all this universe is now only a chant ever vaster and more harmonious arising to salute thy divine dawn September 17 1914 No longer can any impulse to action come from outside or from any particular world. It is Thou, Lord, who settest all things in motion from the depths of the being. It is Thy will which directs, Thy force which acts and no longer in the limited field of a small individual consciousness but in the universal field of a consciousness which in every state of being is united with the whole. And the being has at once the conscious perception of all universal movements in their complexity and even their confusion and the silent and perfect peace of thy sovereign immutability.